This is a tutorial for the RetroArch and getting the Neo Geo to work on it. So uh, this is what you need here, the uh, two uh, files, neogeo.zip and unibios.rom. So to get the unibios, you go to your browser and you go to this website here, it's unibios.free.fr. Uh, the Universe BIOS official homepage. You go to download, go to download version 4, which is the latest version as of now, mvs.aes. So click on that, download that. Okay. So now, uh, and then you need to get the neogeo.zip if you haven't already got it. So what you need to do is go to folders. And you need to go to RetroArch System. Now you need to drop the NeoGeo.zip into the system there, system folder. Come out of that. Then where you've got your ROMs, go to your NeoGeo ROM location. And uh, let me just um, quickly unarchive that. So if you've got an unarchived one like this, uh, you just go into that or if you've got a zip open up the zip so we'll just go ahead and delete that for now so you'll have something like this uh, you will not have the ROM in it so it'll look like this now what you want need to do is put your Unibios ROM into here to get it to work so you place this in here so I'm going to copy it because I want to put it into several and paste so copy and paste in there then I want to want it retroarch to be able to read it correctly so I'm going to just zip it so I'm going to compress that move that to the bin now that's compressed and that should be readable within retroarch so we've got our neo geo just to reiterate we've got our neo geo zip folder in our retroarch system location neogeo.zip we've got uh, unibios in the ROM that's in the ROMs folder and that's all we need to get it up and running so now if we go to retroarch open that so let me just open up a new instance of it so I'm going to quit that Okay, so you'll see this screen here. So you want to go to main menu and load core. If you haven't got the core, just go to online update. So the core is like an emulator and go to core downloader. You'll get a list of cores. You want um, this one down here, which is the arcade final burn Neo. Because I've got it installed, it's got the green hashtag. Okay, so now we can come out of that. And we go to main menu, we go to the top here, load core, go down to the core you want to download. This is Final Burn Neo, the Neo Geo one. I load the contents, this is where we're going to get the ROMs. If you haven't got your content start directory set up, just go to file browser and select that folder we were just in, which was the uh, Neo Geo ROMs folder wherever you've located that. So I'll go to start directory. This is my ROMs folder. I'm going to go down to Neo Geo. And then I'm going to scroll down to that zip we just created. So you click on the zip, click on load archive, and there you go, it'll load up. Now one thing you can do is if you're in the game, uh, this is automatically set up like this. So on your controller, I'm using an Xbox controller, just click on the start button, hold it down, and you'll get this screen here, this configuration screen. So um, if you go to set up the soft dip uh, section, you can add lots of interesting um, options such as adding blood, and increasing difficulty, what have you, like in Metal, Metal Slug, for instance, you can uh, switch on the blood setting. 
and obviously go to exit and that will keep those settings like that. Another thing you can do is if you go to your quick menu and then you go to core options if you go to manage core options actually come out of that not manage core options the neo geo settings okay so I'll just to go through that again so it's core options scroll down to neo geo settings click on that if you go to neo geo mode click on that you've got all of these options to either have the console version or the arcade version whichever you prefer okay that'll do it for today thanks for listening hope you enjoyed that and uh, give me a like and subscribe if you did